If you lick the back of your midnight PCs, they can stick to your forehead, but you didn't hear this from me. Are we okay at home? Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I will just be a little bit of rearranging of my binders. This is something that I would usually do uh, on in my own time, but uh, the collection confession account has been popping off lately and I don't know, I thought that instead of spamming my Instagram stories every day about my own opinions, I would make a video about it and just like sort through my binders a bit, I will just be turning and flipping my templates around so they're not staring at, at staring up at me uh, telling me what I'm missing <laughs> and just like rearranging so it looks aesthetic and like the page is full even if I'm missing things on it and just like setting up for the next txt comeback I already have uh, two sets on the way <laughs> and just a bunch of things just nothing big I hope you enjoy it because I'm bored and I wanted to talk I will also be prepping for my mini binder so I'm gonna take everything that should be in a mini binder out of these big binders basically so I'll do that first actually I lied the first thing I will do is this uh, I made a new cover for the txt binder uh, and I will put Suvan at the back of this one, I suppose. This is all gonna be out of the binder anyway. But okay, my favorite post ever on this page was Heatral Down, G Dragon Next. And when I tell you, that made me laugh so much. And I have never been the same since. And I'm just like, Momo, give me a call. But I feel like there's a bunch of funny ones. And uh, most of the funny ones are actually from uh, Orbits. <laughs> And I'm just like, Orbits are unhinged and maybe the funniest fandom and I'm just like, oh my god, maybe uh, you have all the rights. Okay, the next one is, do you all have a secret uh, one-sided rivalry with a collector? Because every time I go to claim a PC, the same person always claims it before me and plotting their downfall. Actually, I'm gonna put the bigger inclusions in just like a separate binder for now. Uh, but <laughs> I... <sighs> Honestly, when I was looking to buy Yeonjin's uh, RPC from Blue Hour, I swear to god, like, it would always be bought in like half a second and I was like, hello. So I had a one-sided rivalry with all the people who bought uh, Yeonjin's RPC from Blue Hour. <laughs> uh, but, uh, oh my god, there were so many um, posts about Subin's RPC. And I'm just like, oh, Moas and Subin collectors need a group therapy with this because of this PC. Like, truly, truly, truly. And it's so wild because people will truly overprice it, even though it's literally an imprint album photo card because people are going wild for it. And, like, I mean, valid because it's a really, really, really beautiful photo card, but. <laughs> still it's not it's it's an imprint album for the card you know but i think it leads on nicely to overpricing as a topic which is like a big topic in the collecting community uh but my favorite post on this was i'm an accounting and econ major and it gives me the biggest fucking headache when 15 year olds come on here mansplaining supply and demand <laughs> and it's just like Literally, I don't think that, you know, <laughs> supply and demand is a good argument for the overpricing of photo cards, but especially when it's uh, an imprint album photo card, you know, it is just very wild. I think this is happening with Tay's cream photo card. Oh my god, this page really got fucked up. Uh, cream photo card from Butter. I'm just like, y'all, <laughs> y'all are wild, you know, I mean... You know, if you want to spend your money like that, like, you know, uh, I'm not there for telling people that they're stupid for spending lots of monies on a photo card, but I'm just like, it just could not be me, you know? It just could never be me. Uh, actually, I'm going to put the scratches together, I think. Also, I think this applies, like, lots of people want to apply the supply and demand thing to member pricing, which is, like, very shitty. And, like, member pricing in general is just very shitty. And I've been on both sides of member pricing, right? Um, but I also think that there is a victimization complex when it comes to uh, member pricing and stuff. Like, for example, there was a post that said, as an RM collector, I feel horrible for how he is treated. 
both as a leader and how his cars are typically priced less than his fellow members and it's like that's the type of takes I do not like and I think are not uh, productive to any sort of uh, conversation on member pricing because it's just like Namjoon is doing fine in his life, you know, he is thriving, he is like second most uh, Korean, credited Korean artist, uh, he gets accolades from very respected members of the music community and like professionals and icons um, of music and it's just like, I promise you, Namjoon is not being treated badly because of people pricing his piece is a different way than other members on uh, the internet, you know? And like, <laughs> uh, obviously like I'm against member pricing, like hello, I think it's stupid, but like if you put more worth into what people are pricing a piece of paper with your idol's face on it, than the achievements that your idol have under their belts, uh, you know, like, I mean, <laughs> Isn't Mono like the mo like a number one album with the most number ones on iTunes or something like that? Like, the man is breaking records on his own. He's breaking records with BTS, and like that applies to like a lot of other uh, idols as well, right? It's just like, I promise you, you don't have to say that the way people are treating an idol equates their price, like the price of their photographs. I don't know if I'm making sense. The number of like. Young line stands that like to pull out the victimization card for a lot of different things. I'm like, it's just, it's just dumb. It's just stupid, you know. Like, I promise you, they're getting a lot of recognition and they're being treated really well overall. Uh, and if you only see like the bad of the fandoms and the bad of how they're treated or the bad of the communities, like, there's a point where it's also the type of circles you run around, right? Like. I've only seen, uh, I've only ever seen love and appreciation for every member of the groups I collect and at the, there's a point where you need to create your space as well to like get rid of people who are like solo stands or like OT whatever stands and stuff like that. I don't know. I think that uh, you are a bit responsible for how you perceive the fandom in general as well. Okay, so let me take out all these binder pages. And oh my god, this is so much more empty. We love to see it. Okay, so let me put these big inclusions uh, into this extra binder that I have just to store it for now. And I think I will put my BTS big inclusions in this as well. Uh, just to wait until I set up my mini binders and just get another binder as well for like mini pieces and stuff like that. In the same vein as like not putting as much emphasis on people buying pieces of paper and like in relation to how your bias is treated or like their love of the group or something. Someone said, I feel like if you bias three members in TXT, you should just become OT5. It's honestly annoying and hurtful seeing you exclude the two other members on purpose. I mean, are we talking about bias line or are we just talking about uh, collecting? Because collecting is not the same as supporting someone or loving someone or just like biasing someone. I mean, you know, like, I, I don't think that it's a fair assessment to say, oh, like, you collect three members out of five, then uh, you're, you're anti these other two people. Because I'm like, financially, collecting two members and three members is very different and I think that one of the big things with collecting three, mem three members as well in a group is that in general like having a collection of three members it looks good in a nine pocket in a binder right although I mean Texi have so many inclusions that do not fit in nine pockets that I don't know how uh, well it fits if you collect three members, but people collecting does not reflect the love for someone or like how much they care about them or anything like that. And I think that if the collecting community was like really uh, focusing on that less, uh, people would sleep better at night because it's literally just a hobby. <laughs> it's not that deep, right? Mm. And I think that it goes either way because oh, there was another another 
post that was kind of the opposite of this. Uh, it said, can we stop collecting PCs for members or groups we don't stand just because the PC is cute or holding them for ransom for an unreasonable trade just because you know a lot of people want it. It makes it so much more frustrating for people who actually ought these members to collect them. Uh, Catboy Hendry, Teddy Jungwon, uh, Kebe Onwu, I think there was other people also mentioning uh, uh, the Luna, like um, Hashjin and uh, Yurjin, Bear, like little filter PCs. I feel like the Luna ones were more like, oh, you don't collect this member. Like it was more like, oh, you, you're an orbit, but you don't collect this member usually. And it's just like, kind of just let people collect whatever they want. You know what I mean? Like, I understand that when like something gets hard, harder to collect, it doesn't feel great because you're just like, well, you know, like, uh, I was having a good time collecting this and now uh, it's like harder because more people want it and it's just like, you can't police people for wanting a cute card, like, it's a cute PC, like, <laughs> why are we collecting photo cards in the first place? I'm like, I collect photo cards in the first place because obviously I love these idols but and I want to support them buying albums and stuff like that, but it's just like, also because it's fucking pretty, you know? <laughs> I think it goes both ways in the sense of like, either you can uh, not collect uh, something that your fave has the face on because you don't like it, or you can collect some someone who's not your fave but you like the photo card, like I don't see a problem with that. Uh, now people holding that photo card hostage uh, for something unreasonable, yes, like, that I am obviously against. I'm like, obviously, like, we want things to be fair uh, when you're trading and you know, not trading an in print album for the card for something like a DVD for the card or non album for the card. But someone said that one trading account who always has good ass for the cards, but then you see their wish list and it's rare cards. Uh, what do you think? I randomly have a 10 collect book PC. Uh, well, the thing is that if you got a rare card, you're gonna want a rare card in return, like <laughs> If you think that their PCs are like good or Rare, why do you think they would trade it for something that's not like really good or really rare, you know, like <laughs> If you got something that's you know, like a a as long as uh, both parties are happy with the trade and as long as you know, it's like not an unreasonable trade of like a uh, different um what am i trying to say different values i mean some people trade things of different values but both people are happy with it so i'm just like at that point you know it's if you agree to a trade you agree to a trade what was i wanting to do oh yes okay <laughs> so i think that as long as people like are conscious about that they agree to a trade, then a trade is a trade, it's not like selling, right? So, I don't know. I think a lot of people have different opinions about this. <laughs> but my one is that if both people agree to a trade, then it's a fair trade, you know? And also saying it's unrealistic for that person to be able to trade for those is just a lie because I've literally traded for like Namjoon's Happy Ever After DVD for the card which I mean sometimes you go s you see it for good prices but sometimes it's just like ridiculous prices right so this one is on the way so this is why I'm like leaving it turned this way and then otherwise I'm just flipping everything around so I don't have it staring it back at me and then I'll just have a five pattern just to make it look cute you know until I get uh, these ID PCs <laughs> which are the only things I'm missing to complete the Yeonjun's Korean uh, album inclusions but yeah I traded for uh, Namjoon's Happy Ever After PC and I'm just like I mean that wouldn't be a trade that you just do like randomly so I don't know confession I only try to trade people with pretty or cute proofs people were like really coming for that person uh, which I see the way I see why people are coming from when it it's, it comes from like you know like not everyone has the means to make things look cute right but I'm just like at the end of the day if someone <laughs> wants to receive a very cute proof like they just want to receive a cute proof you know uh, or package or letter 
So I don't know. I am pretty split on this uh, because I'm just like, I don't really have a strong opinion about it. I just think that, you know, if someone wants something cute, they want something cute. But also I see the point of, well, it's kind of putting pressure on people to have a certain standard of how they want to do um, packaging and sometimes it's unrealistic and everything. So I don't know, I see both points. I personally don't care what your packaging looks like. Uh, I just want my photo card to be safe and to be in there, uh, you know, like arrive not damaged. But this leads on to people talking about damage on photo cards and like, is it like a big deal if a PC is damaged, if you're just gonna put it in your binder? I mean, I think it depends on the type of damage. Personally, I would not really want a damaged photo card. Uh, I mean, I have pulled, like this is a damaged PC, right? I, it's in my binder and I'm keeping it, but I pulled that one. And I have bought damaged photo cards, but the damage is very light and you don't really see it at all. But like, if people are bothered by it, like, it's their money, so if they want, like, pristine photo cards, like, let them buy pristine photo cards. So for this, I have, I think I'm gonna collect uh, Hunikai's photo cards, so his with us Prada Benefit and uh, his album PCs, and uh, I'm gonna put the Target exclusive pre-order benefit, well not pre-order benefit, just the target exclusive group photo card in the middle so it's just like a row of world and then the rest mirrored and that's going to be cute and then uh, for pre-order benefits this is on the way, this is on the way, this just got confirmed that I got Yonjin for the Lazada pop which these pre-order benefits, I think actually I should post about this, I'll put it on the side but um these pre-order benefits are being so overpriced and the Shopee ones as well to a point where it's just like, if you don't get it in your go, like, I don't know, I, I hope that people, you know, once they actually get the photo cards, because people don't have them on hand yet, it will, you know, be good, but I don't know, I don't know, I'm just very happy I have it, because it's one of my favorite photo cards, and it's so cute, I put these two together, because it's the same, like, concept, Hopefully, once it's sleeved and in the binder, the Yes24 will look better than uh, what the previous have been. And then I just put the With You Selkers together and the Apple Music in the middle just because it's a little different. And then the Naver Live, I want to get it, but honestly, it's pretty expensive right now to get it. And with the new comeback, I'm just like, I'll pass for now uh, at the prices it's going for. And the Shopee one. I did a go, but I got Taeyeon's PC, which I will try to trade but if it doesn't go through then it does not go through right and that'll be fine should i set up for the new comeback i think i will i'll just put two i'll just put two of these right because there's two album photo cards and then there's already f three product benefits that i want to get so we will see what it gives. I don't know if I'll get, oh yeah, and I'm, there's gonna be the origin story photo cards. Yeah, so I'm gonna collect 85 for the origin story photo cards and I am gonna collect Yonjin for album pieces and pre-order benefits. And then if it will look nice in the layout, maybe I'll get Hunin Guys uh, album photo cards, but nothing is certain. Talking about that Shopee go, I, there's a post that says, I don't like how Gripodo manages do first come first serve, like come on we're getting the same album, like why should you have to compete against someone to get a card, might as well just trade, that's why I just asked top three and try to split it evenly amongst everyone. Okay, so my thing with not doing first come first served, I feel more comfortable with some sort of first come first serve thing because this go I did for Shopee was randomly assigned but the only person who got their top pick was the person that the group order manager was following on both of their personal accounts so i'm just like well there's a point that's just not random you're just like helping out your friend which like valid but it also like sucks a bit that you're not like straightforward about it i mean i guess not like no one wants to say oh yeah like I'm prioritizing my friends over random strangers, but it's just like, okay, well, 
<laughs> I personally don't want to do first come first served um and uh, not I want to do first come first served things just to have some semblance of knowledge of where we're going with it you know and just to feel like I have a bit more control and like knowledge about if I'm gonna get my first pick or not I mean group orders are random anyway like no what I mean is when you're gonna order something by yourself it's gonna be random anyway so if you're gonna do a group order it's still gonna be random right so it's you are kind of doing the lottery anyway when it comes to photo cards. I'm actually going to set up my page for the fan life stuff because I want to put this in here and I want to just like put it down and I have the YY photo card on the way which I'm very happy about because it's so cute. Yes, pulls pulls are random anyway, so I think as long as everyone is as long as when everyone is straightforward then it feels fine. But when people are starting to pull things like oh it's random but then it's not, that's when uh it starts getting not uh, cute, you know. So I'm gonna set this up like this. Just do it so I have Hyuninkai in the middle as well because he's my second bias. But as long as everyone is straightforward about how they hold their grows, then there's no problem, right? But when like people are being shady, it's just like, okay, then <laughs> I won't go through you again, you know? Which I think is a shame for both parties because we could have had a good time all together, but uh, instead I'm just not gonna go through you again. I'm just gonna put a blank spot here for now, but this is gonna be Yeonjun's Wow Wow PC and it's so cute and I'm so happy I have it because I thought they were never gonna release that photo card. Okay, so I think that's about it. Okay, now let me get to my BTS binder. And when you think about it for first come first serve, it's like, okay, I don't wanna say that group orders and K-pop Twitter, K-pop collection Twitter should be like shop because I feel like that's when you start getting like weird takes and weird shit happening uh, with stuff. But okay, I'm just doing this so it looks like aesthetic and I can do a seven pattern. Like I understand it's not in order anymore but I mean oh do I move everything okay I'll move everything like I don't want to say oh K-pop should Twitter should act like group order managers should act like a shop but also it's kind of just like well if you go to a shop it's going to be first come first served what you get right for your for whatever you buy so why shouldn't group orders be like this right what is just like well you got there first you get to buy first you know uh now uh if like someone is like oh i want to do a first come first serve in terms of payment in terms of like sorting form afterwards like i think that's up to them as long as everyone is aware and as long as everyone you know understands the rules uh, there was actually quite a few posts about rules and how like it's scary when people have like, rules in their uh highlights and how it's just like making it making people unapproachable and everything but honestly like rules are here for like, everyone to be happy you know like it's not here to make your life difficult or complicated and I get that lots of people have very similar rules anyway but there's like a lot of things about like group orders and people are, are like want to act surprised when it happens and it's just like no you don't get to act surprised because it's written in my rules like uh it's just the way it goes or if they're surprised about shipping or surprised about I don't know what you know but it's just a guarantee to for both the buyer and the seller to have a smoother uh, interaction and so that everyone is happy with what is going on and like if they ask you to send an emoji you just send the emoji like it's not like I understand sometimes you're on the go and it's like you don't really have the time to do everything but it's just like you can be like hey I'm on the go like I'll read your rules later but hey can you like hold this for me right uh, people will mostly understand but speaking of emojis <laughs> Uh, people were like uh, these emojis are universal why you're all using like different things and like people just talking about like the different emojis people use in their wish list and their trading posts and stuff and it's just like yeah like okay so 
<laughs> I think that using like an emoji to like signal, oh, this is on the way, this is my prior wish list, is like very fair, right? It, it can be like anything, right? But sometimes people have an emoji for like, this is high priority, this is, I have this, uh, I don't want this, but maybe I will want it if you give me a good price, or like 10,000, like a key of 10,000 different things, and that's just like, okay, this is gonna change a lot actually. And it's just like, you're not making this easy for anyone involved in this. And uh, <laughs> like, I do not have the memory, the time or energy to deal with that on personally. And like, I mean, to each their own, like if you want to do that, you do that, right? But like personally, this is just a vi opinion video, but personally, like I don't have a good memory. So even if you put your key at the beginning of the highlight and not on the highlight itself, I will not remember a single thing that uh, stuff means and uh, it's just going to be a bad time for me personally. And I think that's the same with uh, trading posts, selling posts. Uh, someone had their prices in their card, which first of all was not easily accessible and like I'm on my phone so I have to get off the post to go to your card to look at the prices to then go back to your post to compare the things because I have forgotten in the meanwhile what it is what I wanted to buy and it was just like a whole shit show and I was just like okay never mind like <laughs> I will look at this uh, like at a different time with someone different I want to change this out uh, and make it more like color coordinated if that makes sense so you know like I would say to each their own, but I do think that it's nice when everyone uh, is making each other's lives a little bit easier with things, you know? Okay, so these are the Japanese. Okay, uh, what else? Freebie cards are annoying and pointless. Uh, just pass it on to the next person. This is a very long post. I like freebies. <laughs> I mean, actually, you don't really mind. I don't mind either way, but... I actually, should I do it like this or like this? Like this, so it's like both. Okay, I uh, honestly don't mind if there's freebies or not. And I don't think they're pointless because I like to pass them on to the next person. I think like sometimes I use them to decorate the card, right? Uh, because I use a lot of just plain paper to send uh, stuff. So I enjoy having freebies so I can just like stuck them to the front and so it makes stuff look cuter, but like that's a personal preference. I have freebies in my binder just to fill in uh, the blank spaces as well because when they're well made, when they're cute, sometimes it's just useful to just fill in a blank, right? But honestly, if you don't send freebies, like, you're very valid because it can get to be a lot as well. Hahaha, <laughs> BTS doing Lucky Draws for Butter. Didn't we see this coming? Okay, I need to rearrange this and I'm gonna put the Lucky Draws in the middle. But next one, next topic is a pretty big one. When people drop collections of idols being problematic, uh, doing problematic things, they shouldn't be shamed. I've seen so many, mainly black collectors, get hate for dropping collections of people who literally disrespected and mocked our race and culture. Yes, honestly, people in the collecting community, but people just in general in the K-pop sphere, uh, not just collecting, are uh, fucking racist. <laughs> like, uh, there's just no other way around it, uh, because a lot of people and just stand, uh, you know, these Asian groups, and that will be their token, uh, I'm not racist, uh, situation, you know? What? oh my god, I'm doing... <laughs> This got me frazzled where I'm just like, I'm doing uh, what I didn't want to do. Okay, put this in the middle and this is going to be the Lucky Draws. But yeah, like honestly, uh, let's take like a recent situation with... How do I want to do this? Like this. With the Enhypen situation, people have been just absolutely vile, absolutely anti-black. And anti-blackness uh, is not reserved to white people. Like anti-blackness thrives in... POC communities as well and I mean there's a lot of colorism issues as well <laughs> where you know people just don't want to hear out brown k-pop stands and black k-pop stands and how hurt they feel especially when it comes to cultural appropriation as well and it's just like oh you just want to start fan wars you just want to do this it's like no it's not because I'm from another fandom that I'm going to be calling out this group that I'm 
anti this group. I'm just anti fucking racism and people mocking cultures and appropriating cultures just for the aesthetic. Okay, so with the Japanese species, it bothers me that the Ren stuff is separated. So I'm going to be rearranging it because I'm never going to get this reverse Perilda benefit. So I'm just going to get it out and just going to rearrange the Japanese stuff. But it's like someone calling out and like people are like oh you're so against this group or this idol because you called them out it's like no like lots of people call out their faves it's just insane to me no it's not insane to me because it's like racism thrives and colorism thrives in the world anyway but when you put like your idols over like real people who are being hurt <laughs> not that idols are real people and i think that there's a conversation to be had there too where it's like real people fuck up and real people you know like grow and change and it's just like okay then like but if the people don't apologize or don't you know like do anything about it then it's just like okay well have they changed we don't know i have um youth on the way so this page will be complete i'm um, with this in the middle just because it's on its own so i'll put it in the middle now do i think that collecting a group that has some problematic shit is bad no but like you have to pre you don't have to pretend that the group didn't do those things right and like pretending that they didn't do something uh is not going to help them out in the long run i promise you oh wait i had those f i can use those for the txt stuff okay i'll do it again and pretending that someone didn't do something problematic uh, is not doing anyone any good, I promise you. And like, you defending these people, these idols, uh, to the death uh, when they did something shitty and like, ignoring like people who are like saying it's hurtful. Like, these, these people are not gonna be your bestie, these people are not gonna fuck you, you know? So uh change your priorities okay so i'll leave this blank because it's on the way and then these will be the cute little fillers you know and i think you'll look very cute from the back two yes oh my god i don't know maybe i'll do black ones i don't know. okay let me leave it like this for now but yeah these people are not going to become your besties these people don't give a shit you know so this is all on the way okay uh, they released the memories uh, thing, pre-order is tonight, I'm just like, okay, well, I don't know why I'm posting this, actually, but pre-order is tonight, I'm only gonna pre-order the DVD, and then I will buy the Blu-ray PC on Neo Cam. So, I'm gonna be rearranging this, the only PC I'm missing from this page is the Europe DVD. As someone said, people stop with only PayPal, uh, friends and family, some countries don't have this feature, and it's weird. Uh, asking to the seller, can you accept uh, goods and services? I'll pay the fees, but they say no. Well, honestly, like, this is K-pop Twitter once again. Um, people don't really have to do anything. And lots of people don't accept goods and services because of taxes and i do understand that taxes do you have like it takes a lot still for you to get taxed but it's like sometimes you just don't want to risk it and you don't want to risk like paypal like blocking your account as well and wait no that's not what i wanted to do that's not what i wanted to do and you don't want paypal like blocking your account like i don't know people if people feel uncomfortable with goods and services like uh, it's just the way it is obviously i'm personally like understanding if someone is in a country that doesn't accept that doesn't have friends and family and i will let them pay goods and services but like also like there's a lot of young people in the trading community and the selling community and these people like they don't necessarily have like i don't know they just don't want to take the risk and i think that's valid too uh I'm gonna just add another page here because I have a bunch of random stuff coming so I'll just put it here uh, but I feel like people entirely forget that each country has their own market prices for PCs a friend of mine kept getting comments asking why they were oh my god I can't read and do this at the same time asking why they were overpricing when the price converted to our currency is literally the same normal PC market price here I read that very badly but uh, I think that I mean, I'm not sure how widely uh, the price of photographs should vary from country to country, 
but I do agree that honestly like the conversations about photo cards and pricing I have these two on the way and on hand so I'll just get this out because or maybe I'll just do it like this okay so it's cuter I think it's cuter to not have the back now so that's what I'll do uh, I think that uh, a lot of conversations about collecting and like buying and prices is so eurocentric uh, where it's just like, well, you can get this album for only this price, uh, so you can't be buying this photo card for this price. I'm like, I understand saying no to overpricing, but like, also you're lying when you say I can get this album for this price because I literally cannot. That's just very, you know, people just should think about other countries a little bit more. Uh, should I do a flip through of what this looks like uh, while I wrap up my thoughts? <laughs> but there was something about uh, people not putting their country and they in the addresses as well and how a lot of the time it's US uh, people and it's like yeah like I I'm pretty good at geography but uh <laughs> like if you don't tell me you're in the US like I mean most of the time I will either know because I'm like that's a state I know but uh, also uh, like I know the abbreviation but also you know I will look on their profile but I'm just like can you stop assuming that people know that your address is in the US because it's like not everyone is in the US and like you can literally see in my profile that I'm not from the US so you know uh, much to think about there but okay let me find a few funny ones um to wrap this up yo what should you say after someone sends a video for proof of the PC I always feel like there's an awkward gap in the convo after the video is sent yeah I always <laughs> I feel like I'm always just like uh, get like not anxious but I'm just like can we uh, can we wrap this up real quick please uh, I want to send you my photo card and I want you to send me my photo card I'm always just like oh well if everything is good for you like if everything looks good for you um, can I have your address please or um, you know if it's for trade and if it's for a sale I'll just be like oh if everything looks right to you here's the price for shipping you can send uh, my PayPal is this uh, please put your username uh, in the description whatever whatever you know so <laughs> that's why I stand on this but I don't know I don't know what this video was I hope you enjoyed it um personally it was just fun to just talk and I just have opinions on a lot of things. I bookmarked so many things that I'm not sure if I got everything in there. But I hope uh, you give me your opinions on these things as well. And I see you in my next video soon. Bye.